Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are going to tackle some Super Bowl recipes. We are going to do a little bit of lunch ideas, very healthy, fresh veggies, the whole, the whole shebang. Um, we are going to do some cleaning. We're going to do a little bit of everything. So I hope you guys can get some ideas off of this. I hope you get some inspiration, motivation. Um, well, I hope you guys subscribe and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey everyone, I'm just getting everything set up for right now. I'm doing some seasoning salt um, in the pot with the peppers and onions. I added some peppers, cut up, and onions into the frying pan. And a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of seasonings that I like. Garlic powder, onion powder, stuff like that. And I am adding, I'm showing you <laughs> what seasonings I'm using. And I'm gonna stir everything up, which I'm doing right now. And then we're gonna add, I think I already added the kibasi. No, I didn't add the kibasi yet. So then we're gonna cut up some kibasi and into little, maybe quarter inch, half an inch, um, you know, portions, little bite sized pieces. And we're gonna fry it all up together until the veggies are nice, nice and soft. And I like it a little bit brown. I don't know what you like, but I like my veggies and stuff a little tiny bit brown. And so I just fry it up and I have rice cooking on the side of this in a separate pot. And you can use brown rice if you'd like. For this in particular day, I used white rice. But you can use brown rice. It's a little healthier. So you're just going to, like I said, you're going to keep uh, cooking those veggies up and going to keep tossing them around and, and get everything nice and brown. Once that's done, you're going to, um, you know, have your rice finished. Once the rice is finished and all your veggies and kibasi are cooked to your liking, you're going to combine everything in, a, in the big pot together, all the rice and everything and serve it and I, I put a little bit of soy sauce also in there not too much because it has a lot of salt but I put a tiny couple little dashes in there just to give it a little bit of extra flavor this dish is absolutely delicious and I made this for lunches for myself for a few days and for whoever else in the house wants to eat it so I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and we'll move on to the next one
Hey everyone, I just wanted to cut in here um, a little bit and talk about what I'm doing right now just for a second. I know you know what I'm doing, but I'm going to tell you about these, my essential oils that I use um, because I told you guys in my first video that I have panic disorder and I have anxiety attacks and, and things like that. So I use essential oils, uh, mostly peppermint, lime. These oils have been a game changer for me. And this is my diffuser. I'm going to fill it up with water. And I'm going to put a little bit of peppermint in this one. And in, in a further into the video, you'll see me put some peppermint and lime. It really relaxes me and calms me and just kind of centers me. So if you guys would like any information about these oils, let me know. Inbox me. I'm telling you, it really was a game changer for me with my headaches and everything with my anxiety so I just wanted to give you guys that little that little tip there of what I was doing with the with the oils and if you guys have any questions let me know is a winding road no telling where it goes driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights and i i really want to know really want to know if i will ever figure out Hey everyone, we are going to be making some Super Bowl recipes. We are going to be making a blueberry pineapple pie and it's no bake, very easy, very cheap, very um, delicious. And then we are doing a jalapeno dip with some corn. Now this is everything that you need for now you can use fire roasted corn but i could not find it at my store so i'm just using regular corn but we have some jalapenos here and we're going to do some bacon with some cream cheese and i'm going to throw everything in the crock pot and you guys are going to see everything come together so let's get cooking Hey everyone, so for this this uh, jalapeno dip, I'm cutting up some jalapenos and I'm frying up some bacon. Now you don't have to add the bacon until right before you're going to serve this dip. So after the bacon is done, you're going to want to chop it up very, you know, very fine and add it to the dip once it sits in the crock pot for, it takes about two hours on um, high, probably in the crock pot, and then it's finished and you kind of mix everything together. But I am gonna show you coming up how to, how to do everything, except I don't show you the bacon because it wasn't done when I first had it in the crock pot. So you do put the bacon in at the end after it cooks for about two hours on high in the crock pot. Once everything's melted and it's nice and hot, you mix the bacon in and you serve it with some either Tostitos 
or you can serve it with some um, corn chips, anything that you like, any kind of like tortilla chip or or a corn chip or something, Frito -Lay, um, Fritos and stuff like that, very, very good. So that's what I, I you know, served it with because we had it, we had it the other day. Um, I made it, like I said, just to try a new recipe, give you guys some ideas for Super Bowl. Right now I just added the cream cheese into the crock pot with two cans of corn. Now you can use fire roasted corn, which is probably better, but at the moment when I was in my supermarket, they did not have fire roasted corn. So I improvised and used regular cans of corn. And I would also suggest the recipe that I got did not call for it, but I would suggest putting about two tablespoons of taco seasoning in this because it made it taste so much better. It was fine, it was good without it, but when I put the taco seasoning in it, just to spice it up, give it a little bit more, it, it tasted a lot better with the taco seasoning. And you can totally leave it out if you want to. I'm just saying for me, I liked it better with the taco seasoning. But it was, it was, pretty, it was a very pretty good dip and my kids actually enjoyed it and my oldest son who does not like corn actually ate it and thought it was good. So he didn't taste the corn. It was really good. So like I said, right now I'm just adding all the ingredients into the crock pot. I'm doing a, a whole block of cream cheese cut up into about four pieces and um, about two or three jalapenos with the seeds. I did with a lot of the seeds because I, I like a little heat. And these jalapenos in particular that I bought were not very hot. They weren't very um, spicy or hot um, jalapenos. So, yeah, it's uh, about two or three jalapenos, and then you add half of a container of sour cream into that, and you mix it. Now we're getting into the blueberry and pineapple pie. This pie was pretty good. I would say I got the wrong, I did get the wrong kind of blueberries, though, because I think I got organic or something like that and they just weren't thick enough you need a really thick pie filling um blueberries and i also didn't have crushed pineapple so i had to crush them myself so you want crushed pineapple and a very good i would say you know if you can spend a little bit more money on getting a better uh can of blueberry pie filling and you take the blueberry pie filling and the crushed pineapples mix it in a bowl and a, a can of sweetened condensed milk and you mix it all together and you put everything in the pie shell and then you kind of mix it and then when you put it in the pie shell you put the cool whip on top and you let it sit for about an hour to two hours in the refrigerator to chill and i actually like this pie a lot it was very very good i thought it was going to be really really sweet and rich and it turned out to be very very good and it wasn't as as dense or rich as I thought it was going to be it was very very um, light and good so that is it for me I hope you guys um, really really enjoy this recipe I hope that you guys can get some ideas and inspiration for the Super Bowl who are you guys voting for for the Super Bowl I would actually have to say that I think my family is rooting for the Bengals. At least I am. I am not really a fan of the Bengals, but I would want them to win this year, win the Super Bowl, because they are sort of the underdog in the situation. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Tell your friends about me, and please like and comment if you like, and comment on any kind of other ideas that you guys would like to get. And I'll talk to you guys uh, soon. Take care.